Hey guys, welcome back to the Everlast YouTube channel. I am Brian Legalio. Today we're going to run some 6010 with a Cyclone 312. Let's get in it. Alright guys, I was MIG welding with this previously. I'm going to set it over to DC where that's going to be your stick welding. It's going to verify how you have it hooked up or how you have should have it hooked up. I can either standard or cellulose. I'm going to go to cellulose. And then I'm going to come over here to Arc Force. And I'm going to turn it up to 20. Let's go up to 20. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to turn up my amperage. Hi guys, so I have some 6010, a hammer I can do some chipping with, some quarter inch. And I'm going to make a T-joint and get into it. Let's go. So when you're running a 6010 with these with uh, the cyclone um, I'm not gonna say it's a trick but there's a technique um, when, when I was doing the root I was doing a quick tight arc forward of back movement and every time I I run one of these machines it it runs good that the trick is to keep that tight 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 arc just did some quick cleaning up, you know. Um, I could probably use a wire wheel right now. I could have slowed down. I could have uh, stopped right there and let that fill a little bit. My hand was kind of uh, in a weird spot, but you know, looks good overall. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Got my new electrode. I just didn't like the way it was gouging in the top plate there. Um, I originally started about 120 amps. And um, hindsight, I should have turned that, that down a little bit. I ended up um, running this last pass here. And I really liked the way it came out. Uh, about 80 amps. And I used two techniques for the, for the first pass. I was going back and forth. And then on the second pass, I was doing a circle, keeping that arc nice and tight. I didn't really like the way the bottom came out, but it was good metal, like just aesthetics. And I started on the third stringer right here. And I didn't like how much it was digging into that base material. So uh, that was about 120 amps. I turned it down to about 80. And then... I used a forward and backward, but when I came back, I watched it puddle and establish. So I came forward and then back and then watched it wet out to the desired size. And, you know, in my humble opinion, that this is kind of what I was looking for. It, um, it came out that last, uh, last bit right there. Came out with a, a cool consistent pattern, you know. All right guys, so that is running 6010 on a Cyclone 312. Really, it's a slightly different technique, tight arc. Um, you don't want to sit too long and you don't want to let the uh, slag get in front of your puddle at all. 6010 roots and multiple pass welds and pad welds and so on. Can be done, it can be achieved. Um, hope this helps on uh, with one of their machines. We'll see you on the next one. Remember, guys, weld mean, weld green. See ya!